Good morning. Is it morning? Yes. Good morning, everyone. It is Shania Middleton from ShaniaProFitness.com and ShaniaTheBody.com. I am going to go over some light fitness today for toning and sculpting. If you guys are paying attention to my workouts lately, they're more uh, going towards being sexy instead of uh, the weight training because I've done all of that and those videos are still up on Facebook Instagram they just started this IGTV so what I used to do in the past is not up there so you have to either go to Facebook or YouTube it's the same name Sean your pro fitness to see those videos where you can um, weight train and just get into involved into fitness because I've evolved and I've already done that fit part of life now I'm into the sexy part of life and I'm gonna stay here for a while. So as I'm just wanting to remain sexy, I'm showing you what it takes in order to look that way. And today we're gonna to do arms. Today we're gonna to do some legs. Can you guys see my legs? Today we're gonna to do some legs. Today we're going to also do arms, legs, and back, okay? And those are just, and core. Core is always gonna get worked when you work out with me. Um, any shape where it's just it just happens it just happens so I'm going to take my vitamin with you guys and get started and I wanted to ask you guys how you have been I realized on my last videos I'm normally just diving into what I'm talking about and then I'll ask you where you're from although I care where you're from I also want to know how you guys are doing and what's important to you guys um, I want to know what my next live should be about a lot of people ask me about squats, so I'm going to do that today. So we'll do some squatting, but just tell me what's going on with you, and I'll look at your response, how you're doing, and what you would like to see from me, and I guess what you need from me. That's an important question as well. Let me turn my music up because everybody's in the house and everybody's doing what they're doing. So I'm going to turn up my music. What was I listening to first? I think I was listening to this one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see if anybody is responding. I want to know how you're doing, what you would like to see from me so that I can prepare for next live. Thank you for the compliments. God bless you as well. Okay. So chocolate. Guys, I got so tan on my, um, I did a live for my website, shawnyandthebody.com, last weekend, and I got so chocolate. I have never had that space in life and energy to be able to sit in the sun for hours. So I did some new yoga and some other stuff. And um, I did that for about like an hour and a half on the website. And then everyone started coming up to me and asking me who I was. So I that took in itself took another hour. And um, just, just communicating, that was another hour. So that's three hours in the sun. And then I think I had maybe one hour to just be in the water. So that's four hours in the sun. And I didn't know how um, sunburned I was until I got home. And I was using this moisturizer and then my nose is just peeling each and every day. So yes, black people tan, please. The ignorance is, you know, is beyond me. Black people tan, we do get darker. Um, the sun does affect us just like you. That's why sunscreen is important. And I did have on sunscreen, just for those who do care about me. I did have on sunscreen, uh, I, it's just, it's, it was just hot. Um, and this week, the kids had uh, book reports due and then I'm getting ready for them to enter school. So this week, I couldn't go live. Um, and be conducive. I couldn't be live and be great because 
uh, I had to make sure because you guys, you guys know I went to college for education for English. So whenever it's like a book report, whenever it's about literature, I'm very uh, we gotta get this right. So um, that was on high on the Richter scale for me this week. And then my daughter's crawling and she's so much more active and louder that I need to be more hands on with her. So um, I think preparing the kids for school and getting their uniforms, that kind of, and then going to school for their, uh, you know, you gotta get acquainted, that took precedence over me this week. And I knew that I had to do a live for Shania, the body this week. So that's why I'm going to tone and scope with you guys, showing you how I keep my sexy going so that I am so confident in front of the camera when I am on my adult website. Um, and that's pretty much it with me. If you guys wanna share how your week was, mine was absolutely tedious. We were supposed to do something today, but luckily we are able to do it on Labor Day. So I was invited a few places this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going. I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to all of them, I should say that. There's one that's really important and it just takes a lot for me to get ready because I have other people to care about. So I think I may just make it to one of the events and I'm thankful that I was invited and I'll bring you guys along, I guess. It depends on if the Wi-Fi is strong. Other than that, I'll like make a clip or something. But um, if I'm able to uh, be live while I'm there, I will because it's, um, it's a company or I would say it's a promotional uh, team that I absolutely support. Um, so let's get into this. Did anybody tell me how you're doing better to exercise and lose weight instead of having, let me see. I can't see what the bum, okay. Instead of having eyelash and lenses. Um, Nams, uh, Nazmi, when I am in front of the camera, I want to present myself in the best way, form, or fashion. Me, without makeup, without lash, just you've seen it. Go look at the previous live. You see what I look like without makeup. I'm still who I am. I'm still a stunning black woman. So I'm just gonna express this to you. I'm in front of the camera and I want you guys to try the workout. I want you to try my products. I want to care about what you are feeling and going through right now. So I'm gonna put my best foot forward. And to me, I love to accent my beauty. So I'm going to wear makeup and lashes. So if that comment was extended to me to be negative, I shoot it right back at you because maybe you should try it. Maybe you should look better for your spouse or whomever you work with. As men, because I think you're a man, as a man, I hope you have on cologne today. I hope that you showered before you took yourself to work, okay? I hope that you put your best foot forward, okay? Because I know I just did, okay? So he better not smell bad right now talking to me like that. And I'm trying to make sure I don't curse in this video. Okay, I'm gonna block this person because from the live because they're too immature to be here right now. Yes, keep it sexy and thick. Well, D Red, yeah, because you know I gotta do my live tonight on the website, so you know I aim to please and you guys care about someone that takes care of themselves. That's why you love my shower videos and all the other stuff I do. I'm doing great, Shania. I'm about to go to the gym and exercise myself. Wonderful. So hopefully you'll try some push-ups because we're gonna do some uh, activated push-ups today. Okay, so no one's telling me how they're doing, what they're going through, and what they would like to see from me. I guess you're not listening. You're just skimming through lives. But for those who are paying attention, I will look at your comment because you do know once I post these lives, they go into my IGTV. So even if you write the comment later, I do see it. Okay, four times a day shower, good. Present the real you. I'm gonna block you because you don't understand my diet. You don't understand me, and I'm obviously not for you. Yes, he is blocked. All right, good Lord. Yes, Jason, all right. So, I'm not for everybody, and I understand that. Matter of fact, I kinda love that. <laughs> You have to be confident. You have to love yourself because if you love yourself, you really don't have anything stupid to say to people. Good morning. Okay. You look extremely beautiful. Thank you. I, I try. This is just me trying. I'm going to look beautiful tonight. That I promise. Um, this is me before I take my products. <laughs> so, 
So this was me like, you know, trying my best with just the fuels that are in me. Um, how is everyone doing? I did want to have someone tell me how they were doing instead of that guy trying to um, spread some stupid energy my direction, he could have told me how he was doing. Right? <laughs> that would have been better. He could have told me how he was doing. Present the real me. <laughs> this is the realest I'm gonna get. This is my real hair, my real nails. This is the realest I'm gonna get. This is, matter of fact, yeah, this is the realest I'm going to get. I made a video talking about um, real hair and how when you see a black woman wearing her real tresses, curly, I get mine straightened um, because the curly, you've seen my curly video. I've done the curly hair, so I got it, you hear the baby? I got it straightened so that um, it can get braided to go under another hairstyle. No, she's not braiding it today. She's just putting it up today. And um, I love getting my hair deep conditioned and straightened. So... When you see a woman, a black woman, I'm talking about us, I'm talking about us. Because gosh, like nobody wants to applaud us. When you see a black woman wearing her real hair, her real hair, real anything, even real body, she's still rocking her real body. You know what I'm saying? Even though that's 1976. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so many women just got mad. I don't care. Um, When you see a woman rocking real anything. Wow, this is the longest the tea ever took to come out. What's going on with yourself? It's like it was meant to be in a video all this time. Jeez. When you see a woman rocking real anything. Applaud her. Especially when it's real hair. Jesus. I think that even when you wear your hair curly. I know. Let me not even say I think. Even when we wear our hair curly and natural, when I say curly, I'm talking about afros and so and, and, and from there. When you see us rocking it curly, a lot of us, especially when you see that it's textured, textured and very moisturized and silky, those products are expensive and you have to use a lot of it. Okay? Okay. And then if she gets her hair straight and understand, overstand, that that was five to seven hours in the hair salon and if she knows how to do it herself that was arm workout so applaud that woman applaud her because we know that the hair is not gonna last so we just sat here five seven hours for a hairstyle that's gonna last a couple days a couple days because sweat weather anything great son all of that is going to mess up your hair and therefore now you starting over from scratch and boom 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 and i know that they're going to say oh but the other Nationality goes through the same thing. They have to wash their hair every day or so on, so on, so on. I'm talking about me. I'm talking about us. Okay? Can somebody talk about us for a little bit? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Can somebody applaud us for a little bit? Ow. 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 Because they love to say, oh, we don't love our hair and... Uh, and that's why we wear extensions. That is not why we wear, let me tell you how much we love our hair. We love our hair so much. So, look, cause I know everybody gonna be like, that's not her hair. We love our hair so much that we put it up in the ponytail. We love it so much that we protect it because we understand that it is that great. Our hair is magnificent. And that is why we put wigs on our hair so that we can braid it and protect it, so that when we take, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, let me give you a great example of someone that's been protecting their hair for a long time. Black China, because her tresses are so long and beautiful, and these are people that just protect their hair. Now, I'm not saying everybody's doing the same thing that are wearing extensions. I'm just telling you that those who are protecting their mane, they do so under wigs and extensions. Okay, so it's not just women that are bald head that are wearing extensions and wigs. No, it's women that are also trying to grow their hair. I went natural last year. I went natural last year. And I know you can't tell that I went natural because I just straightened it, but I'm telling you guys, I just blow, you know how you get your hair blow dried straight and then they put that um, flat iron. But this hair, if you look real close, it's, 
she ain't right now. <laughs> you see right now. So when you see me, uh, once I take out this hairstyle that we're about to do today, you'll see me again and it'll be curly again, okay? And that's another beautiful thing too. You can play around with your, with your styles. Um, anybody else tell me how they're doing today? You're doing well, Skylar, absolutely, great. You love beautiful black hair, I know, right? Um, your baby want, <laughs> she's studying. Your baby talking, yes, you hear her? I'll bring her in the video at the end. I had to learn that she, once I grab her, she doesn't want, to, she doesn't want me to put her down, so I gotta be careful. Because if I bring her in the video too early, then, then, then she's like, where you going? You look extremely beautiful, baby. Don't worry about trolls. No, I'm never worried. They worried about me. <laughs> yes. Your dark skin tone is extreme. Again, yeah, it's, oh, no, can you tell how dark I got? Can y'all see? Woo! You can't even see me when I back up. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> look. I disappeared. All you, that's why God was like, Shawnee, wear white today. I'm telling you, he's the leader of my life. He told me to wear white because he knows how dark I got. And and listen, nobody believes me, but I can get blue. I remember when I ran track. Remember I told you about that high school that was absolutely just ridiculous? My mother was like, don't say that. Okay, I understand. I understand, but my experience, the year that I was there, that school was ridiculous. Right? So... When I was there, some of the best athletes came out of that school. Why? Because most bad schools have best athletes. So, um, yo, he would have us running with the long distance runners, the short distance runners, okay? The sprinters. He would have us training with the long distance runners, and of course, he was smart. He was, he was creating magic. So here we go, jogging with these uh, long distance runners, I just got blue and didn't even know it. But got blue overnight. My boyfriend was like, where you at? And I was like, I'm right over here. So not even realizing that I had became I had become a different woman. And I was I started recognizing it because my man started acting different. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all, that's where it happened first. I was like, hold up now, he ain't answering the phone. <laughs> I had become a different looking woman, y'all. I look different. And so because he was acting up. I done went, cut off, because back then my hair was down here. Listen, cut my hair off on the top. I had short hair on the top. See, that track done took me to, see, when I got dog, when I got blue, I went somewhere else in my mind. Blue worked magic for me. Because once I had cut my hair, I knew that you liked me for me, or you didn't like me for me. Because once I, you know, when your hair is long and your skin complexion is, you know, creamy caramel, you don't know who they like. But when you blue and your hair short right here, you know who like you and who don't like you. Okay. So that was funny. That was an experience. Um, so nobody believed me, but I can turn blue. And you may, you may see it. You may witness it with your own eyes. If I keep going out there in the sun um, doing stuff, for my website. You may see me get blue right before your eyes. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful though? Because I know people that can't tan at all. Uh, yes, I'm gonna do squats. Talk to me about you. Nobody even said nothing about themselves. Is that one person? Hey, Roger, how you doing? How is your family, Roger? You're important to me. How is your family? How is your family? How is everyone? My family is good. Uh, the kids are thriving. They just got their hair done yesterday. They're thriving. How is your family? How is anyone's family? Can everyone tell me how their family's doing? Um, let me know. I would like to know. I want to know about you today. Shit, I'm dropping a pee. I'm so young. Who you hear this baby song? Y'all gonna fall asleep. Oh no! I want to know how you guys are doing. No one's telling me how they're doing. It's like you guys are bashful. D-Red told me how he was doing. 
You love my body, thank you. I'm working on it each day. Uh, the more I lose weight, the more I'm noticing that I'm having, like the slimmer I get, the more I'm noticing um, that this part of my body is not moving with everything else. Cause you see here, see how that went in? See how that went in? And so I, this right here, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna work on it for like another month. Cause I'm very hard on myself. That's why I cry a lot. I'm very hard on myself because when you decide to do something, like if I'm like, okay, we're gonna have this baby and then I have a baby and then I'm like, I gotta lose this weight. I give myself a timeline, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's important for everybody. Don't say, oh, I'm, gonna get, no, I'm just gonna lose weight. No, give yourself a timeline. Cause you can't, cause you're gonna be out here sis and it's gonna be a whole year later and you're still the same size. So I'm very hard on myself. Hey sis, family is great. My six year old is enjoying school. Great news, Johnny. I love to hear that. Is she homeschooling or is she in school? Because a lot of, no, I'm not gonna say a lot. I would say majority of the people are still homeschooling. And then I have a friend, her kid's in Montessori school and he's in school. So I'm very happy to hear that your six year old is enjoying school. What is my height? I'm tall. You look so beautiful. Thank you, D-Rad. You just gonna keep going on. D-Rad, you make my day. God bless you. Amen. You need a private workout session. Uh, young, I don't do that anymore. I'm gonna do it on a bigger scale. We're gonna all be together. There'll be security. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a whole different thing. And it won't even be just me. For those who have helped me become who I am as far as physically, they will be there too. I'm gonna honor myself by having them on the platform uh, and then bless you because uh, the people who are going to be there, I think I have to let you know that they're gonna be there because uh, I would have loved to just have them as a guest appearance. But let's just say um, you're like, I ain't here for that. You know what I'm saying? So, or I don't wanna be here for that hour. Um, then it's, I think I do have to let you know who's gonna be there. Oh, they're homeschooling as well. Okay, Johnny. Well, I know how tedious that can be and so that's why I'm still doing my lives. So, uh, so I can help those who are at home. She has no panty on, no baby. Oh gosh. Brian gotta go, y'all. This man, we ain't even talking about that. Yeah, so I no longer do private sessions. If you see me working out with somebody, it's because um, they're just helping me with the video or they've been training with me for years. What's up? What's up? How are you doing? How are you guys doing? All right, so I'm gonna tone it up now, guys. We're about to get some work. And um, I've tried to, I guess, uh, put at least 15 minutes into asking you, or probably even more, how you're doing, what you would like to see from me on my next video. And I also asked you, um, I asked you another question about yourself, but no one, I had two people answer. You are the perfect example of what beauty is made of. Thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate that you didn't have to say that. I do know that, um, all right, let me say a prayer. Thank you God for blessing everyone that takes the time to watch my lives, especially those that share. Those who invest in me, Jesus, you already know how I pray for them. Everything that their hearts desire, I pray that it... I manifest greatness for those who support me on a higher uh, level. So thank you, Jesus Christ, because you know who they are. Uh, a lot of people watch me, and I don't really know why they watch me, but I do know that I am here to not just entertain, but show people how to take care of themselves. So I thank you for people understanding that as much as they understand everything else about me. I thank you for people taking care of their children more, because that's also something that I um, try to display. I thank you that even if it's a man or a woman, they understand the importance of taking care of their responsibilities 
and you didn't give us any material things when we were born, but you did allow for us to do certain things naturally, and that is uh, procreate. So I thank you for people understanding that and how important it is to take care of your seeds and take care of your insides as well as your outsides. I love you, God. Thank you for revealing things to us that help us manifest greatness for ourselves. And I pray this for everyone that understands what I'm saying. And for those who don't speak English, I pray that they can get this message translated and that one day I'll have a translator or my videos will have that um, translation on the top. Thank you for taking us further than we've ever been in life, and thank you for this workout working for everyone that tries it. Amen. Okay, so we're going to, I normally like to read the Bible, but uh, there's a verse that I've been reading on. For God to love the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And that is more than true. John 3.16, if you're wondering where that is. So I don't know why God had me reading John 3.16 for a whole week. He did. And maybe because I need it to feel loved. I don't always feel uh, loved or loved. And that's because I'm supposed to give a lot of love. And so I wanted to express to you guys that not everybody's happy um, all the time. I have to generate happiness because I'm responsible for other people. Just like how I'm responsible for how you see this video. So just understand that you can create happiness. And God told me to read John 3.16 for a whole week, and I did. So I was able to um, get over any sadness that may have start uh, growing inside of me, okay? Because sadness can grow. Why not doing flexing videos, okay? Uh, amen. Great job, Johnny. John 3.16, you knew the verse. You're amazing. My baby is all of my heart. Oh, Johnny, my mom was explaining to me that she just met another man who uh, said the same thing about his son, that his son is his whole heart. His, it's like his son is his breath. He can't live. Like he just, that's how he feels about his child. And I'm like, what an amazing feeling to have for another, um, for a man to feel that way about their child. I have never, I've never seen it uh, with my own eyes. Someone that just was like, I'll die, you know, you, you, like, honestly, this is how he expressed himself to my mother. I'll die if something happens to my baby. And, and it's just, that's like magic because that's so rare. Um, imagine if all men felt that way about their child, you know what I mean? Um, and to even, the reason why it was so compelling to me is because you know that my father wasn't in my life, right? So therefore, I'm just like, whoa, that is beautiful. So when you said that statement, my baby is my whole heart, Johnny, that's amazing. Imagine as a, as a, a human growing up with that kind of love, someone loving you that much. Imagine how powerful you become as a person. That's amazing. That's amazing.
may explain something to you. So that you get it right. Kettlebell. Lock your elbows. A lot of people, they're here. Keep your arms straight. Trying to work your triceps. Trying. Squat. Knees do not go over your feet. It's all in your bum. Okay? Squat. Bell touches the ground. Keep your arms straight. Squeeze your butt through. Squeeze it. I take time. I don't want to waste my time. You can sit here and be like this, and then everything is just off. Every time I squat, I'm thinking about my legs, thinking about my quads. Every time I push through, I'm thinking about my butt. Every time my arms go up, I'm thinking about my arms. That is why sometimes it's so important to do workouts by yourself, unless you're being instructed by someone because you get off course when you're actually supposed to be thinking about the muscle. You understand? All right. So that's a kettlebell. That's a kettlebell. You can do that as many times as you want. I'm already sweating, so I'm good. Let me see. This is broken. I'm doing my best, because one of my devices is broken. This is for your arms. I am a thick built person, okay? I'm thick, all right? That's how you can title me. And I'm working to stay sexy. Hold on. I'm working to stay sexy or be sexy. So there are certain things I'm going to just make sure stays intact, okay? So your arms is one of them. <laughs> you can't let your arms go. Even as men, when you wear shirts, you know what I mean? Because you know shirts affect, it's all about proportion. So your arms, you just want to have toned arms when you reach for that salt for that lady or you're reaching to open up the door for the lady. You want her to see a cut or a muscle or something. Every time I do a sexy video and I'm like crawling, I'm so happy that I'm working out because I can see the definition in my arm. Um, I remember that I had a fan and they kept asking me to like develop my biceps, but that's not, if I develop my biceps, my arms are going to get bigger. And I just want to have a tone to me. If you see like my delts, I built my delts as well so that when you see me, my, my neck looks longer and everything just looks, the delts match the breast. So, you know, when you're watching me train, understand that this is developing like the best quality you. So these can be bought on Amazon, the perfect push-up. Now I'm not the best. I just know that if I do five, right, and I do them perfect, that I will see a difference in my arms each and every day. If I do five a day, Shania, your arms are going to look so good, okay? And that's all I can express to you. And when I say perfect push-up, you're going to rotate this. That's the only reason why you buy this, so that you can rotate working every avenue of that arm. Praise God, right? So I'm gonna do that with you. I'm only doing five, because like I said, I can do five perfect. Now, like I express, I am trying to keep myself sexy. So the things that keep me sexy is doing five. <laughs> For a man that wants to build his delts, then you will do more than five. And you'll know how many to do, because once you fall out of perfection, once you cannot bring your chest all the way down, you're not doing it right anymore. So take a break and then come back. And that's your number, okay? Once you come out of perfection, 
That's it, take a break, come back. And now you know your number. My number is five, okay? And that is because I do not want big delts. I just want to keep my chest lifted, right? And my arms beautiful and my back strong. And if you know a good woman in the bed, you know why I want a strong back. All right. I tried to show you every angle. <laughs> I did two in the front, so I couldn't go to this side. But you get the gist of it. <laughs> this is shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart. Okay? I'm just trying to show you the form now. Shoulder width apart. Legs are straight behind you. Legs are straight behind you and then down chest down oh god ah! Ah! okay yes oh god i love when i scream my neighbors are they're used to it your daughter is great she's a princess that is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Okay. Last movement. Okay. You think you're raising Hillary Banks? Ha <laughs> ha! One of my favorite characters. Okay. Last movement, leg extensions with weights. What I tell you guys about leg extensions. You guys remember? <laughs> nice complexion. Thank you. Lovely build. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to work with... Um... The reason why I wanted to say something to everybody today too, because I think um, just in case people don't get it, the products that I use to take off the the weight that decided that it wasn't gonna go anywhere, um, because I started the product how many months ago, guys? I'm not sure, maybe seven months, and at three months I realized. Cause you know I had a C-section. So that's why, see this part right here that I told y'all is bothering me? Cause you see how this goes in and then this is here? So this part that's bothering me is why people don't get C-sections. Cause they're like, oh, you can't get rid of it. And then blah, 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 right? But it does look great still. I'm not, I'm not mad at a seven month post C-section. But when she was three months, I think I had lost 40 pounds. I forgot. I forgot how much I, I lost. Because you're not able to work out until the baby's one month. So one month post C-section, maybe I had lost 30 pounds. And then the weight was like, I'm not, I'm not losing no more weight. My body was like, I'm not losing no more weight. <laughs> That's all my body's looking at me like, I ain't going nowhere, right? And I'm like, I be damn, right? So my friend had let me try. She had already let me try. She let me try her products 
And every time I would go out with her, see my hair already curling up? See it? See it curling up? Just in case y'all didn't think that my hair was um, natural. <laughs> it's curling back up, god dang. All right, so anywho, um, she had let me try and every time we went to the, to the beach together, I was on 1,800 million trillion. And in the videos on Facebook, you guys can see um, months ago, after I had my baby, I would go out with her and she'd be like, she let me try it. And then boom, my workout was the best ever. So because I remember this, um, maybe she let me try the product before I was, before I got pregnant. And that's how I knew. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But anyway, so um, I knew how I was going to remove the rest of the weight. So I started this product and I didn't even talk about it until I had been on it for a couple months. So I think I started telling you guys about this product like a month ago. And I had been on it three months. So I had looked at myself and I was like, bitch, who are you? And so I said, I'd be damned if I don't tell people about it. So what I wanted to tell you guys is that if you don't buy these products, look, <laughs> if you decide not to get these products, look, and the pill, I don't tow up the box because on my last live I was on the beach in the sand, I'm towing it up. If you guys decide not to buy these products, I don't lose anything because I'm still on the products. I'm going, I'm still winning. I'm still on these products. <laughs> so I don't lose anything by you not being on these products. I'm on them, right? So I'm winning. So I, um, I just needed everybody to understand that. Like, I think people be like, she's trying to sell a product. No, I'm letting you know what's working for me. <laughs> I'm letting you know. And I didn't know that I can make money from you taking the product too. And therefore you can make money. So what happened is everybody I know personally got on the product. So now they're eight, the people that see in their results, they're making more money than me because the people that see in them is like, hey, where can I get that? And then these people are selling their own stuff. So I'm just excited that I'm able to say, hey, click the link in my bio <laughs> and try to shit out for yourself. So we're gonna do some leg extensions and these are leg weights, okay? These are leg weights. And I have one, I only found one in my house. I have a baby house now. My house has turned into a baby castle. So, <laughs> You hear her, right? So we're gonna do leg extensions one leg at a time. I'm gonna turn the music back on. I just needed to express to you guys that even if you don't buy the products, I'm still good. I just needed you guys to know what has been manifesting and helping me to manifest my weight loss and help uh, energize my life so that I can still tackle everything even though I just had a, a baby and even though I started two new businesses even though my kids are going back to school, even though there's so many things to worry about, even though social media keeps hitting us left and right with these murders and this murder, I am still able to exude happiness to you, okay? You're getting sexy and fit. I know you in the gym, D-Rad. 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 <laughs>
waiting on the music. Where are you from? I'm from Miami, Florida. <laughs> Born and raised Miami, Florida. Yummy! I know, right? I'm just sexy. I just can't help it. Let's go get the baby. Did you guys enjoy your three workouts today? Because I enjoyed delivering them.
guys, we love you.